Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create non-inventory parts in the item list for items that are bought and or sold, but not tracked as inventory parts. QuickBooks tracks neither the quantity on hand nor the value of non-inventory part items. Like all items, you create non-inventory part items by first opening the item list. To create a new non-inventory part item, click the Item button in the lower left corner of the list window, then select the new command. In the new item window, select Non-Inventory Part from the Type drop-down. The fields that appear in the new item window are similar to the ones shown when creating inventory part items. First enter a name for the part into the item name slash number box. If you want this part to be a sub-item of another part, check the adjacent Sub-Item of checkbox and then select the main non-inventory part item under which the current item should be categorized from the adjacent drop-down menu. If needed, you can enter a part number into the manufacturer's part number field. Enter a description of the part to display in invoices and sales receipts into the description field. Then set the price, the tax code, and assign the amount to an income account by using the account drop-down. For non-inventory parts which are purchased for specific customer jobs, you can check the This item is used in assemblies or is purchased for a specific customer job checkbox. If checked, the fields available will be the same fields shown when creating inventory part items. In this case, enter the information for the purchasing aspect of the item into the field shown in the Purchase Information section. Then enter the information for the sales aspect of the item into the Sales Information group of fields. This lets you use the item in both purchase and sales transactions. After you've created the non-inventory part item, click the OK button to save the item into your item list. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.